Hello Bursties, Amanda Hill, RDH here to talk to you about your dental unit water lines. I know, dental unit water lines is not the most exciting topic of all time, but it's certainly one that we need to be concerned about. And it's one that the CDC says that we need to make sure that we're taken care of. So why do we care about our dental unit water lines? It's not anything that I learned about in hygiene school. In fact, back in hygiene school, the only thing that I learned about water lines was that I needed to blow out my air water syringe for a minute at the beginning of the day because one time my instructor had a spider crawl out of hers. So I was under the impression that we did it because of spiders. Now we know about biofilm and we know that biofilm can grow in those little teeny tiny tubule lines and they can cause harm to our patients. So we need to learn how to take care of our dental water line units. How do we do it? It's actually pretty easy. It's four simple steps with a bonus sort of fifth step thrown in there. So the first thing we need to do is shock our lines. And what does that mean, shock your lines? I've always shocked ours with a diluted bleach solution. But there's also products on the market that you can buy to shock your lines. So some of that might be up to your office or you can check with your dental unit manufacturer, um, but there's a lot out there on the internet to figure out how you wanna shock your lines. And then once you've shocked your lines, you need to test your lines. And when I say that you need to test your lines, you need to test all of your lines. My operatory has an air water syringe on my side. It has an air water syringe for my non-existent assistant on the other side. It has a couple of hookups for hand pieces. Whether you use these lines or you don't use these lines, if they have the ability to get water in them, you need to test them. And don't forget your ultrasonic scaler as well. So for my unit, I had to test five lines within my operatory. Then you multiply that times your whole office and you have a few lines to test. But the, thankfully, the testing is easy. You can take samples from all of your lines and send them off to a lab and they can let you know how you're doing or you can do it yourself which i think is actually pretty fun and sciencey so i like to use the quick pass and it's really easy to use what you do is you take this little paddle and you fill it up right up to here with water and then you put the paddle in and you lay it down for 60 seconds and then after 60 seconds you dump the water out and you put the paddle back in and you let it incubate for 48 to 72 hours so I did this one 72 hours ago on my water lines. And I doubt you'll be able to see very well, but you can see there's some pink dots and those are some of the spores that are growing. So what I would do when I was reading all of these quick passes is I'll put on my loops and I'll get nerdy and sciency and I'll start counting those squares and figure out how big our colony forming units are. And it has to be under 500. But there's some great explanations and awesome videos online about how to count these. So this is one brand. There's other brands out there as well. It's a really easy thing to do. So after you've tested all of your water lines and you know that you're clear, then you need to start treating regularly. So you can treat with the blue tab, the little tablets that you can put in your water, or you can treat with the Steri straw, or I'm sure there's other products out there. But the big thing about treating is, and this is the bonus part, is you have to maintain. Because no matter how much you've done the first three steps, that shock, test, and treat, if you're not maintaining your lines, you're going to again start forming that biofilm. And what, what I mean by maintaining is I mean that every night you have to dry your lines. So you have to unscrew that bottle. You have to dry off, if you have a steri straw, dry it off. You have to let all of the water and air run out of your unit and your ultrasonic scaler too, and then put it all back together and wait for the next day. And in the morning, when you put the water back in, you need to run all those lines for two minutes just to make sure that nothing is stagnant, nothing has built up overnight or over the weekend. So the last step is to retest. So thankfully, you don't have to retest every single line. The recommendation is quarterly, you should re spot retest. 
So what I do is I go into each operatory and I test a different piece of the dental unit. And then if there's something that fails, then I'll go back over and start all over again to the shock, the test, the treat, and hopefully by then we have gotten all of that out and our water unit, dental water unit lines are clean. But I'll tell you, if you're missing the maintenance step, you're going to regrow that biofilm and you're gonna have to start over from the beginning. So it's actually a pretty fun and easy science experiment and it doesn't have to take a ton of time but you do have to have everybody on board for that maintaining step. And I want to make one note that's really important. Using distilled water does not mean that you can't still grow that biofilm. So remember that it's important no matter what to test your water lines to make sure that you're in the clear and that you're keeping your patients safe. Bye everybody. Have a great day.